Okay, go. Made from water, acetic acid, and often caramel colouring, it is very quick. Is that Marky? Vinegar? Nope. Oh, you haven't got a stupid buzz press on you. And it, it is very quick to produce, unlike a similar product, which it uses as a substitute for. In the UK, it cannot be labelled as a Devil. Non brewed condiment. Non brewed condiment, yeah. That's <laughs> what you're not allowed to call vinegar a chip, Right. <laughs> The whole thrust of the question is different from vinegar. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah. Uh, and I fell straight into your trap, didn't I? Indeed, you did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number two. If Aqua is Arthur, Ice is Bobby, and Iron is Tony, what is Super? <coughs> that Marky? Clark. Clark, yep. Yeah. First names of superheroes. Oh, oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the author of Ghost Set a Watchman, the Spanish. <laughs> oh, Russ, no. 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 Oh, well, lucky. Ashton. Ashton. Uh, 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 Mississippi. No. We've got that on film. The Spanish word for cross. The Beckham children. Yeah, the Beckham children. The inspiration for their names. Number four. What animal appears on the badge of the car company Alfa Romeo? Lee. Bolt, no. no, Ashton. A snake, yeah. Yeah. Was that Ashton? Ashton David. Yeah. Get in. Yeah. Number five. Created by Gilbert Lawford Dalton, this character was employed in a number of different jobs over the years, including a millwright, a plumber, and a self-employed welder. He lived in the town of Greystone, first with his aunt Meg, and then his employer, Ike Smith. In both places, he slept on a mattress on the floor. He considers a lot of the people he competes against to be very snobbish, whilst they in turn consider him to be a gutter snipe. Ashton? Top of the track, Alf Tupper. Alf Tupper, yeah, Alf Tupper. Oh. Staple diet, it's fish and chips wrapped in newspaper. Lived it under the railway arches of Greystone. And he, yeah. he has the unfortunate habit of falling asleep on, train station, on trains. Number six. Daniel Fullard today could be seen as an example of this. <laughs> taking, taking its name from an incident on the TV show Have I Got News For You, when Roy... <laughs> Dave Bill? Tub of lard. Tub of lard. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. You're going to have to pick one of those, Steve, next time you see it. Bring a tub of lard. So, uh, uh, did I give you... you, you you've got three points now, haven't you, David? Yeah, I've given yeah, you points for that. Uh, number seven. To fix or make certain, always the same, never changing. To cause someone to start doing something. To give someone work to do. To establish or decide something. When the sun goes below the horizon. A place where a play of... A set. A set, yes. Number eight. Current members of this group include Prince Philip, David Attenborough, Simon Rattle and James Dyson. Ashton. The Order of Merit. The Order of Merit, yep. Oh, not racist of the year. Some pair on Simon Rattle. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm David Attenborough, I'm James Dyson. Uh, I'm the Edmund. That was a species. <laughs> yeah, he is, yeah, he is human. Right, number nine. Despite having no connection with the city of Venice, what is the official name of the carriage which carries people and cars? Being? Gondola. A gondola, yep, yeah, on the transport of the bridge. What name is given to the punctuation mark, which is used to resolve ambiguity, to match the cadence of, of the spoken word, and to make the uh, punctuation of lists consistent? It is a... Is it a bill? Say it all. No. Simon? Comma. Mark? <laughs> Inverted comma. No. Fat right, market. hang on. Oxford. Dave Bills, let me just get these. Simon minus one. Yeah. Fat market. Oxford. Yeah, the Oxford comma here. Yeah. What's an Oxford comma, please? So when you have a list of things and you put a comma after the and. Talk about an Oxford comma. <laughs> <laughs> number number Each eleven. Shoots and leaves. Elvin, your uncle, jack off a horse. <laughs> 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 number eleven. Custard cream biscuits, polo mints, nice biscuits, and sack of torte cake all have what in common? Dave Bill. Protected status. Nope. Tony. Nothing away. No, not, uh, no, it was <laughs> Yes, yes, one away. Oh, hang on a minute. So Dave Bill, one away. We've got, all got the product name on Yeah, they all have a name written on them. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Uh, Tony, yeah. one away. Bean. I didn't know. I thought it was going for a record score. Finished. 
Well, not Jeff. I've got ten ones. <laughs> Shall we put you up there, Dean, as well? Uh, what did the Monty Python actor Michael Palin do in 1988, which Phileas Fogg did in 1847? <laughs> 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 Going around the world in 80 days, yeah. Number 13. Nut Garçon, he's the one who eats twat round here, was a classic line spoken by Brian Clough in an advert for which product in the early 90s. Eating three of them could apparently turn out seven. Shredded wheat. Shredded wheat, yeah. And Fourteen. This person has suffered with Bell's palsy since being run over by a car when they were eleven. They first appeared on TV in 2003 in the MTV series Beauty School Copouts. In 2017, they took on the duties as a Bean. Bean. Scarlet Moffat. Scarlet Moffat, yeah. Bean. Get up there. 15. Found as a joke in the second decade of the 21st century, it was jokingly introduced due to the perception that men get the chance to shower their partners with affection and get them multiple gifts on Valentine's Day. Steak and blowjob. Steak and blowjob, dude. Steak and blow job, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll run over just for the idea. I get it. It's Thursday now. Yeah, March the seventh. Exactly. Steak and blue. Steak and blue. Based in Thailand, in 2016, the company Carabao started to sponsor the English football. Whoa, B. Thailand. No, I just said Thailand. Rhodes. Energy drinks. Energy drinks. Ah, who was that, Steve Rose? Yeah, yeah. It's because I don't like him, you know that. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Thank you for watching, I appreciate that. Right, number 17. The Brazilians Tiago Gomes de Rocha and Pedro Rodriguez Filho, the South African Moses Sithole, the Colombians Daniel Carmego, Luis Gavito and Pedro Lopez, the Russians Granadi Mick Havashik, Alexander Pish Pickhushkin and Andre Chikatilo and the Americans Gary Ridgway and John Wayne Gacy all appear very Mike. Mike. Serial They're all serial killers, yeah. John Wayne Gacy gave it. Yeah, I'm going Brian Clough. Actually, I should have thought serial killers have been there somewhere. As soon as you give us the names, we went in. In October 2017, who announced at the age of 72 that we're quitting the Church of Scientology? Mike? No, I'm not No. No, he was he's on, slightly dead by then. <laughs> they had joined it 40 years earlier after their husband died at the age of 42. Lee. Lee. Still present. Still present, yeah. Oh, oh, I've read that as well. 19. That's it, how much I don't know. What kind of surface got its name due to its first well publicised use be by the Major League Baseball team based in Houston? Lindsay? AstroTurf. AstroTurf. Yay! Yay! Uh, number 20. A similar principle to the one used in this device was used in the Constant Esco synchronisation gear system for propeller gun synchronisers on early fighter planes. Marius J. Morin has been created with the crea credit with the creation of this device, although it was given its current name in 1967 by the actor Simon Preble when he coined the name for a wooden version designed by Scientific Demonstrations Limited. Shortly afterwards, this device went on sale for the first time in Harrods, and a version made from chromium was Lee? Not today. No. And a version made from chromium was designed by Richard Lon Craney. The device is featured in the film Superman 2, Straw Dogs, Iron Man 2, The Hood Super Proxy and X-Men. It can be used in physics lessons to demonstrate the conservation of momentum and energy. And the... Ashton? Starosphere? No. Nope. It's not finished, has it? Yeah, it's not finished. Yeah. Dave Bill? Yeah. No. Nope. Fat Marky? On the graph generator? No. Nope. Uh, Simon? Small moment. Simon? So I'm just swinging ball things. Ali Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm refreshing now. <laughs> 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 
Newton's cradle. Newton's cradle. Attempted to go to the Had no idea at all, we took, it, we took it to a way of it demonstrating knowledge. Really? I'm sure it's called different things in different languages and different cultures. Yeah. He's never called a swinging Sorry, Sam. I was going to say, who got that? Charlie. Charlie. You jammy.